Children's playgrounds are places of great fun and enjoyment. The old steel and timber seesaws and roundabouts of yesteryear have given way to bright new facilities designed to capture a child's imagination, challenge their abilities and provide hours of healthy activity. But something threatens this happy picture. Something that could turn our children's playgrounds into death traps. And it is something that you, as a provider of recreational facilities for children, have the power to prevent. Substandard builders, methods and materials are being used in the playground construction industry. In order to cut corners, reduce costs and raise profit, some playground builders are using unqualified contractors, dangerous building practices and cheap materials, increasing the risk of serious injury and death. If you are planning to build a contained playground facility and you contract a builder who does not comply with the Australian standards, you could be responsible for the serious harm that may result. There are three standards which have been developed which relate to the planning, construction and maintenance of contained play facilities. AS 3533.4.2-2013 details the specific requirements to minimise the risk of some key hazards. The mesh and netting which forms a barrier around a play area must be secured to a panel frame in such a way that it can withstand the impact of a 90 kilo load swung from a height of 3 metres from 30 degrees. Unfortunately, to save costs, some builders are using plastic cable ties to secure the netting. Not only does this practice produce a cutting hazard from the cable ties, but it fails the standard test. A failure like this in a play area could result in a child falling down the side of the barrier and serious injury. The metal poles used in the basic structure of many play areas also presents a risk of catastrophic failure if they do not comply to the strength tests outlined in the standard. Many inexperienced and incompetent builders are using low quality poles with a thickness of only 1.5 millimetres to support heavy structural elements. These poles may be fine for signposts, but they are not suitable for structural elements and easily bend and snap under load. The danger is compounded when these poles are connected with cheap and weak tube clamps which use only a single small grub screw to fasten them in place. This common practice produces a characteristic heart-shaped buckling of the ends, causing separation from the joints and leading to structural failure. These poor quality connectors and poles do not comply with the Australian standard and put our children at risk. Collapse of a play area constructed with these cheap materials would almost certainly result in serious injury. At Imagination Play, our priority is the safety of children. We understand and comply with all the Australian standards in the design, construction and maintenance of contained play areas. We have designed and developed construction methods which not only meet the Australian standards but far exceed them. Our specially developed hand stitch method of securing every grid of netting easily withstands the forces which leave the others broken. The structural poles we use are 3.25 millimetres in thickness, so they can support the biggest structures. We use only European TUV certified tube clamps, the best you can get. These materials far exceed the Australian standard for safety and strength. At Imagination Play, we do not compromise on quality or safety. In front of me I have the TUV tested clamps we use on all our indoor play structures. These clamps comply to both ASTM and AS standards. These 8mm grub screws bite down on the pipe in two different sections, increasing the surface area that bites into the pipe, greatly increasing the load capacity of these clamps. What we have seen here is only a small sample of the requirements of the Australian standards that relate to contained play areas. We also incorporate special designs to comply with other requirements such as fire escape, pinch and entrapment points and the use of lead and phylates. 
Because Imagination Play are experts in the design, construction and maintenance of contained play facilities, we take the headache out of creating fun, challenging and safe play areas. Our customers have peace of mind in knowing that their facility is fully compliant with all Australian standards and provides the best levels of safety possible. As a potential provider of such a facility, the safety of children depends directly on the choices you make. Make the right choice.